Do you trust robots? This was the uh, basis of a study conducted by Georgia Tech researchers um, in which they faked an emergency situation to see if humans would trust robots over their own instincts and their own uh, other, uh, other signs such as exit, leave here. And the answer was humans did trust the robots, maybe too much. So what had happened was that they faked an emergency scene um, and had uh, human beings follow a robot that said emergency rescue on it. Can we take a look at the robot? Yeah, emergency guide, robot. However, the robot was, um, it wasn't evil, it wasn't bad meaning, it was, however, stupid. Uh, it was secretly controlled by the researchers and led people into a blocked and abandoned room where they would surely die had there been a real emergency. Um, and after that, uh, it was told to follow, the, the robot went around the room in a pointless circle. Uh, sometimes it would stop moving. Uh, it, it just, and it was still trusted after all of this. Yeah. So I think what it shows here is one of two things need to change, which is we either need to trust our own instincts more mm -hmm. as humans, or we need to program robots to uh, do something as a fail safe when they're malfunctioning. Yes. Well, one thing our producer Andrew mentioned there, which is a very intelligent point, and I will relay it, is that if there was a human in charge and the human was addressed as a, I would, I would say a guide to try and help direct you away from danger, mm -hmm. I guarantee most humans would, whether or not there was a massive exit sign right there, in, instinctually they would follow another person who seems to know what they're doing and needs to be in control. Oh, come here, this is where we need to go to exit. Yeah. Instinctively you'd be like, all right, where am I gonna go? Oh, okay, I'll follow this guy. He seems to know where he's going. Yeah. People will lead and follow like a sheep if you're going to a, an area that you're- So maybe the third thing we can learn is this is a great time to trick people, yes. to commit <laughs> crimes, exactly. uh, to use their trust for evil. But let's, 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 let's pretend not that way. Yeah. Uh, so further on in the experiment, um, the uh, scientists filled the room with smoke and people had to follow the emergency guide robot for help. They trustingly followed him to a strange exit, circuitously ignoring the cleared marked exit signs on the door when they exited the building. Um, afterwards, the test subjects were asked to fill out a survey. And when they asked about it later, all six said they would not trust the robot again. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine not. No. Um, so, yeah. But so, uh, we it showed amount of trust whether it's a robot or whether we trust someone who seems to know to be calm and uh, reasonable in a situation of extreme tr stress yep. at least i will take a stupid robot any day over a cunning and evil robot that is beautiful how do you know the difference because oh you watched ex machina yes when alicia vikander <laughs> is if alicia vikander was there and uh, directing me to an exit dressed as what she was in ex machina you, you better believe her. i'm following her i'm following I mean, her to my doom and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Yay. Take me. I was going to say Francis learned something. Francis did not, did not learn, learn anything. No. What we learned is that I was just stupid enough to follow. Well, I think the, the researchers showed that maybe there needs to be at least um, something that we can fix. I mean, I don't know if I can fix someone's level of trust yeah. or judgment, but the robot needs to be tell people to stop trusting it when it's malfunctioning and stop following it. Like, there may be an issue. There's a problem. Find yeah. your own damn way later. Yeah, and I'm out. I think the major point to take here from this is that humans, the more advanced robots come and the more they start to take up their, or any, like especially when the, a, a, a robot can uh, overcome its own judgment and its own uh, pursuit of what can, is considered an, er an error, right? So if there's mm -hmm. an exit that's blocked and if that robot starts to be able to adjust and make its own decisions based on what's happening in front of them, humans will naturally be taken back and therefore a little scared about that because it's just, it's becoming, that technology becomes so advanced that it's starting to make somewhat of its own own decisions that humans mm -hmm. naturally will not react as well as they possibly could to that. Hence why, like, movies like Ex Machina, of course fictional, right, but they explore something that you... Sure, they you left, real ideas. When you left Ex Machina in that movie, you think to yourself, like, would you be able to trust someone that is taught to be able to make their own decisions and robotically without you anyone controlling it? When, if when, humans do that, exactly, wouldn't that's it be the what, same thing? That's what becomes so curious about Do you trust a human? It. You don't know if the human's under someone else's influence, if it's under its own influence. That's why in Ex Machina, like, there was so much time, there's so many moments in that movie where I think to myself, like, is she still under the control of her commander? Is she still, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just, it posed so many different thoughts in my head that how much thought we put into developing artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. At what point do you get to the, to the stage where you can trust it if it's making its actions based on someone else or if it's doing it based on its own 
I think we need to apply the same amount of scrutiny that we're applying to other people, which yeah. is, you know, I'm not sure I can trust this person. Maybe I should keep an eye. Maybe I should keep my wits about myself and do what I think is What best. about if they're wearing a uniform that states that they are in control, if they are a police officer or they're a guide? That's a different thing. Yeah, How do you trust? Yeah, that's another thing. It's, it's hard to know. Um, so hopefully one of those fail-safes go into measure. Yeah. Audience, what do you think? Would you implicitly trust a robot even if it led you to uh, what looks like certain death? Uh, <laughs> in different ways, as Francis said as well. Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.